What's going on YouTube? I uh, wanted to make a quick video real quick about a uh, Nissan Versa. It, I believe it's um, with the 1.8 liter four cylinder. The uh, speed sensor. Uh, I was looking online to see if I could get any information on it. I'm replacing mine, and I just wanted uh, to make a video, give you guys a couple tips on where it could be. And uh, I found that people say you can get to it from the bottom and stuff. It's better just to remove the battery. Remove the battery from right here. Undo it. And then you have all this room. So what you want to do, there's this water line right here. You're going to move that out of the way. Let me see. There's some stuff right here. Let me see. That hole. Let me see, let me see if I can get the camera in here. Uh that hole that's right there that one right there it's one bolt and it's super easy to get to you can get your 10 millimeter wrench in there and uh, and get to it it's that hole that's right there and uh, I'll film uh, I'll get back to it whenever the sensor is installed so you can see what it looks like I forgot to film removing it but yeah just a couple of tips and stuff you just uh, right here where the battery's at you just move your, your, your battery connection and go straight in there's a water line right here, follow the water line, and then just scoot it out of the way, and then right down here, that's your uh, speed sensor hole. This is, uh, I had trouble finding it because this is the, the one that was on there, and as you can see it's straight. This is the one that was on there, and uh, mine's reading that it's bad. And this is the aftermarket one that I got online, and you can see the connection the connection's a little different. See, this one goes up and this one goes sideways. But it's basically the exact same thing, just the connection's a little different. See? So, with that being said, the wire that connects to it is long enough to where you can just move it from the top off to the side, and it'll be fine. So, um, yeah, let me put it back on and let me show you what it looks like, guys. Give me one second. All right, guys, we're back. All right, I got it in there. Super simple. It literally, I stopped filming for maybe 15 seconds. There it goes right there. That's it, right there. That's your speed sensor on the 1.8 liter uh, Nissan Versa. Let me see if I can get in there. There we go. So you follow your water line right here. And there it goes right there. That guy right there. It's one bolt. Whenever you put your new sensor in, just push push down on it. Make sure you hear a click that it's seated all the way in there. Uh, on your old sensor, make sure the rubber the rubber O ring comes off with it, and then just put your new one back in, and uh, and there you go. And then put your connection on there. Put your 10 millimeter bolt on there, and then you're good. There it goes right there. If you can see it. So if if you have this engine right here, 1.8 liter, that's your. Uh, your speed sensor right there so yeah i hope this video helps hit that hit that like button if it did and uh see you guys later